Hey everybody, the Reese Warrell here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the previous episode, we made it into the Cave of Flames, got the Cave of Patchy. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we got the Cave of Patchy, which uh, flips stuff over, and I didn't mean to do that. No! Oh, wait, I can actually flip it though. Yeah. There's no point standing on it now. Go! There we go. Oh, please make it, please make it, please make it. Made it! Balls! Yes! Okay, here we go. How the fuck? How'd that even work? That was like dumb. Ah, fuck! I'm just failing very, very badly. There we go. That's how you were meant to do it. Because I'm an idiot. I did it wrong. There we go. Made it. I was gonna say, we came all that way just for that. It didn't look like it did anything. I'm sure there's something over here. Yeah, there is. Knew it. Ah! Uh, uh. Ah! Ah, oh, crap. All that for a kinstone piece. Uh. Screw it. There we go. Boop. Move the cane of Pachi. Oh, you meant to do that, and then fly into that, and then fly forward. Boom, made it. And then this brings you up just in front of the chest. Or just behind it. Just next to the chest. Screw it. Just glide on over. Do -do 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 -do. I don't even see how that works, but whatever, I'm not going to question it. I don't even know where we go. I'm sure it's down first. Ah, oh, yeah, it's down. And then it's left. Oh, wait, no, 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 Oh, nice. Holy shit. That was unexpected. Right, am I supposed to fly over here? I ain't got a clue, I'm just guessing. I'm guessing so, yes, you do, sweet. Okay, that's simple enough. This dungeon will definitely be done in this episode, for anybody wondering. Not like anybody cares, but whatever. Ooh, ooh, hello, hello, hello. What's in here? Again, stone piece. Totally unexpected. It's <laughs> like the most common item ever. Item ever. Also, I've never recorded so much. I've recorded, like, I think this is... The fifth episode? This is just one thing, though. Like, one game. And I need this. Fuck. Ugh. Ooh, just made it. Here we go, the boss! Oh no, the boss isn't yet. The boss is coming up. The boss is in here. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Oh, crap. The only thing I don't like about this boss is it spits fire everywhere. Like that. Fuck. Damn. I keep... It's gonna happen a lot. Son of a bitch. What the? Mm. Okay, I've never. Wow. This is absolute bullshit. There we go. Mm. 
Yeah, you have to like run off before it goes into the lava. And then it makes everything crumble and then it pops back up. Yeah, you have to wait for it to like cool or set. Shit. Ooh. I think the lava begins to like... No, maybe not. Yeah, it does. It begins to expand. Like how far... I don't know how far it goes. Holy shit. All the way to the edge. So there's only one line. That's bad. Oh, what? I would've... There we go. This should be... Oh, I was gonna say the final time, but no, it didn't. Unfortunately. What's close to it? I only need to... Oh shit. Block the entrance. Entrance? Exit. Now it's done. Oh crap, no it didn't. What? How long does this thing have? Usually a boss on a Zelda game lasts for like... It, it has like three... three hits. Or three... I don't know what you'd call it. Or what you'd say. Is that heart still there? No. Are you kidding me? You actually- FUCK! That was bullshit. That was bullshit. That's all I'm calling bullshit. Thank you. There we go. Jeez. There we go, it's dead. Jeez. It took long enough. Main reason why I don't like this boss. It's got lava. Lava is a bastard. Simply put. Sorry, I was drinking. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. You don't say. Where am my heart container? Yes. Now we have six lives. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, oh, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Yes, we should. Yeah, I nearly didn't shrink, but then I wouldn't be able to get in. Malari's mine. He's done. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Yeah, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. You got the white sword, it's beautiful. White blade sparkles with light. You can put your grandfather's sword away now. Oh no, you can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The first elder no doubt told you this part, but... If you want to infuse this, the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. I've got the hiccups. Pardon me. The sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens once only, and no, only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the fire elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. Thank you, dude. Let's go. Let's blow this joint. Yeah, I know exactly what it means. 
Oop. It's just here. This is where we go. And I think that's actually it, we're near enough. Oh shit. Oh wait, if I just do that, it should be good. Yeah, that's fine. And we got this bit which I can just climb down. Is this the bit that opens? Yeah, it is. Sweet. That was a short work. I made short work of that. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh dear. So that's the second one done. So there's only two left. There's still a lot to do, though. I mean. Okay. Oh wait, we need to go to Hyrule Castle, don't we? I might want to open this up too. Yep, said that again. It's just the same thing. Over and over again. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, so I think we can go and infuse the white sword. Because we've got the earth and the fire element. So I don't see why not. You sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to form locations. Oh dear. Terrible castle. That is not the right way to go, I don't think. Yeah, it's downstairs. Well, that was close. I nearly didn't notice. Yeah, I think it's just here. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Reese, look! See how that doorway glows? that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see you but you and me. Let's go, quickly! Elemental sanctuary. We made it! Yeah, you go onto like a pedestal thing. You go onto a pedestal and then it realigns the... And then you put the sword away and it infuses it. So if this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. What? Oh, oh, wait. I was gonna say, why isn't it working? Because I need to do that. I think it turns to like an orange colour. Or is it purple? Yeah, it's purple. Oh no, it's orange. Okay. So what's this one called? What's it called? The powers of earth and fire have... Uh, of earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Ah, <gasps> oh, we learned a new technique. That's all. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refer refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Reese. Okay. Shut. Uh, uh, What's moving? Yeah, this is where we find out we can duplicate. Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Yep, I can. Let's go. Got two more elements to find. Yeah, you need to use it for puzzles and stuff as well. Sorry about my nose. It's not as bad, it's not nearly as bad as it was. Okay, so that's the blade infused. So that was painless, I suppose. Didn't really take very long. So yeah, proud. Oh, go. Okay. Oh, it's this bit. <laughs> Interesting. You're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. <laughs> Vati. And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. 
No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool, a hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spe spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to... The greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have, I have you to thank for it. Except this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, fatty, wait! You're dumb. Yep, you're dumb. The pigmen! That was very hard. That foul fatty, what could he be scheming now? I feel I owe you an explanation for what has happened. Of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and re, re renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice, but he came, he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took the hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Oh, goddamn cutscene. I have to itch my ear. Sorry if you could hear that. Vati, what are you doing there? Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile? I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me. Why, Vati? What are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the Light Force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Oh god. Ah. And that's where he becomes a hat. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There is nothing you can do to, to break it as low, or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. What a dick. What a dick. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the Pakari gave the humans? Well, what you call the Pakari Blade was the first of those gifts. The second, or well, you can call it the Light Force, but is a source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be wreaking the curse on me any time soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my, due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. I wonder what the hell I was saying then. Well, there's enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. Actually, no, because there's one, there's one thing that I actually want to get. And I'm pretty sure we can get it, and I'll get that on and on in the episode. We've been going for nearly 20 minutes. So, yeah, we've been going for a while. <laughs> yeah, there's that one over there. Oh, no, we can't. It's somewhere else, then. There's like two entrances to that desert place. I'm just gonna go and make it back to Hyrule Town, and then I'll save. I'll just end the episode. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and until next time, take care. See you guys.